Welcome to another episode of Pandemic Apparel. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to grade with Gerber and Lectra. Grading with Gerber. First, you need to designate a folder on your computer or flash drive, and this folder needs to be called user root all in caps. And within this folder, you need to make another folder called storage all in caps as well. When you open AccuMark Explorer, make sure that the drive is highlighted where we just finished creating this folder and click on File, New, and Version 8 Storage Area or if you have Version 9, click on the V9 Storage Area. Then go ahead and give it a name. I'm naming mine Missy. You can put your name or whatever you want to call it. In the folder area, right-click. Um, and then in the pop-up window, select New and Rule Table. Then go to View, Grade Options, and just make sure that it's selected to Small, Large, Incremental. Okay, so the reason you want Small to Large Incremental is because it'll grade from the smallest to the largest. The Base Up, Down, Cumulative, it's like grading manually, just like I was showing you before where you're grading from using the base size to size 10, then it'll grade up to a size 12, or you use a grade base size to grade up to a size 14, so it does all the little math. Uh, instead of going using size 12 to grade to 14, then 14 to grade to 16, and then the base up, down, incremental, that's, it'll grade the pattern starting at the base grade up to the next larger size and down to the smaller size. All right, so back to the rule table. Under size names, it's numeric. So, and the base size is 10, and size step is 2. The smallest size is 2, um, or it could be 4, whatever you want to do. Um, and then in the next size breaks, you're going to type in what the next size is after 2. So in this case, it would be 4, 6, 8, 10, etc., etc. Um, then save your file. I'm naming mine base 10. Uh, this is important, especially if you're digitizing it into the computer with the rule table already assigned. Um, and then later on, you're going to probably want to know if you have multiple grade tables, which one you're using. Okay, before I move any further, I want to change a few settings in the P user. Uh, so, so the precision should be 3, um, Imperial should be selected, Overwrite Marker Prompt, um, that should be it for now, and then click on Save. Alright, so back to the grading table. At the very bottom, you'll see a tab called Rules, so click on that, and here you're going to be entering the grades. So this is where it might get a little confusing, or not. Um, these numbers, they're very personal to the company you, you're working for or yourself if you have a system in place. So you can use numbers 1 through 5 or however many grades you need. It doesn't really matter. But the 0, 0 point, that's kind of a given. Um, and then in the comments, you want to abbreviate what the description is, so shoulder, arm, hole, or side, waist, things like that. So once you're finished filling it out, save it, and it will auto-fill the missing cells that you didn't put in. What you want to do now is assign the rule table to the pattern. So under grade, uh, locate assign rule table and select the pattern. Then if you don't have the drive selected with your rule table located, and the path, then select the rule table. Mine was base 10, then click OK. And I noticed that my pattern needs the dart filled in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and come right back. Now, under View, Grade, Rules, you can see the numbers assigned to the points on the pattern piece. To assign the number to the point, simply right-click and go to Edit Point Info. Select the point you want to change the grade rule number. Under grade rule, enter the number you have in the grade rule. Um, I have 670, and, I, and then I click apply. Uh, do this to all the points you need graded. 
So if you already um, have like a sheet with all this information, it's a little bit easier just to type in the number that you need. It should start looking something like this. Uh, perhaps with different numbers, but you kind of get the idea of what it's supposed to look like. If you want to change the points attributes, like making it smoother or any of the other preferences and stuff, um, just click on the three little dots next to point attributes and you can change uh, the settings for that point. Then click all sizes under grade. If you have something funny looking on your pattern, you can go back to the rule table and see what went wrong. This is kind of like what it should look like and having all the grades you can kind of see where you may have made a mistake or not. If you guys have any comments or questions regarding how to grade with Gerber, let me know in the comments below and I'm going to move on to showing you how to grade with Lectra. Alright, before we get started with working and grading with Lectra, we're going to need a few file folders. The first one is a Missy MDL. The second one is going to be a Missy PROD, and another one is a size table. All caps, no spaces, okay? All right, so when you open Moderas, you should change some of the settings. So go under config and make sure it's set to eye context. Then under parameters, uh, length unit, click and drag all the way to the end. And you should see, it should be checked to inches and sixteenths. Angle unit should be DG. Area unit should be inches and sixteenths. And scale unit should be percent scale. And then the next thing we need to do is make a text file. So open up Notepad and type the following information in. On the first line is going to be numeric in lowercase. Second line is going to be the number four. This is the smallest size. Then space and the number two. This is the uh, numbers that we're skipping or the increments. Then on line three it's going to be an asterisk um, number 10 and this is going to be the base size. Uh, next line is going to be 14 and the next line into that can be 18. These are the breaks. Um, also, it also helps the computer when it grades so it doesn't have to work as hard. Um, what else? Okay, and then when you save this, you're going to save it, give it any name you want. I'm using 4 to 18. And instead of using the TXT uh, format, we're going to use a EVN. Um, and that's what the system is going to need to be able to read this file. All right, so one thing I didn't mention in the Gerber was if you wanted to use something like small, medium, or large, uh, you need to use it, tell it that you want to use alpha numeric. Now, in Lectra, the first line is going to just say alpha, lowercase. The line after that is going to be small. And you can't put a space and a number like saying you skip this or is going to be an increments of one because it doesn't know what you want it because there are letters. So um, you put nothing after small. The line after that is going to be the asterisk um, and then M for medium if medium is your base size and then you can go large and then the line after that extra large and the line after that extra extra large if that's what you want to use. And again you're going to say use the same format when you save it as an EVN format. So. Um, and you're going to use that um, formula if you're going to use anything other than a number. So if you're going to use, like for toddlers, for little kids, 3T or 4T, you're going to use this. And you're going to have to put every size that you're going to be using. So you just can't put small, medium, extra, extra, large, or whatever your grading is going to be. All right, so moving on. All right, so once you get the program open, open up your pattern and click on your keyboard F7 or at the right hand panel at the very bottom there's a little green with a F7 click on that and then you're going to click on import EVT click on the pattern piece you want and a little window should pop up locate the file we just made hit the home key on your keyboard if you want the pattern to take up the full screen 
click F6 on your keypad or at the bottom right of the panel. Then click on control. This will allow you to click on each point to grade. Now, two things about the system. Uh, one, it, will, it works best if you work uh, clockwise rather than counterclockwise as we were doing in manual grading. The other thing is since this works with 1 16th, it's not going to allow you to put fractions or decimal points. So 1 16th equal 1. Uh, 1 8th equals 2, so on and so forth. Also, you're only going to be working in the columns that say DDX and DDY. All right, so now that we got that covered. All right, to make it easier on yourself when you're grading, you can highlight the column um, and enter the number that you need, and they, it will enter on all the ones that are highlighted. Uh, this makes it a lot faster. Another thing that makes it faster is rather than uh, doing this for each point in, that have the same numbers, you can go into Equate and then click on the point that you want to copy, and then click the next point would be the one where you want to paste that information onto. And then you can go back to Control and then continue grading the pattern. To see the grades, you can click on F9 and you'll see the grades that you entered manually in the text file. Uh, to see all of the grades, click on F9 and F12 at the same time. If you make a mistake, this is kind of where you're going to catch it because you're going to see something weird or funky and you're going to be like, oh, that doesn't look right. Um, you can also click on the control on that point and you can edit the information there. Other things you could use is like canceling a grade if you don't want it to be graded. Um, just click on cancel grading, click on the point, and it'll erase the grade from that point. I usually use equate on seam allowance notches because it does this little weird funny thing where it doesn't grade it properly, so I just kind of copy and paste the information from the point onto the seam allowance notch. Um, also, if you want to hide the grade and continue editing your pattern, you can do that by clicking F10. And uh, don't forget to save your work. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it helped you with any problems you may have had with grading with Gerber or Electra. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below or email me. Until next time, bye!